hello my loves welcome back to my channel my name is ses paulo and in today's video i'm going to be taking you through our vacation so we went to nyali on a girl's trip just me and my best friend and we used the sgr here we are at the terminus buying food that we can eat at the train and we made a mistake of buying alcohol so i don't know the security guard saw us and she wanted to take my alcohol from me but thank god i took it back and i was refunded my money and this is the meal that i got just fries and chicken it was yummy definitely better than buying food from the sgr we arrived at the mombasa terminus at 8 30 pm and it was a six hours long journey just six hours and we were in coast definitely better than taking a car although with a flight it would have been about three hours anyway we got here and there were no ubers available but after like 10 5 10 minutes we got an uber you can also use the vans that are available there for transit but we preferred the uber because we didn't know the location of the bnb we were going to stay in at nyali sgr is just the best thing that ever happened because now you can go to coast without spending a lot of money in transport and then spend that money on activities instead because with the sgr you can either get transportation for one thousand or three thousand for the vip and there's pretty much no difference with the first class and the economy uber from the terminus to our place was around i think 1400 1500 i'm not sure and then you can use a van for around 300 to 500 <laughs> On arrival we went to cafe to shop for breakfast because we intended on making the breakfast ourselves so that you don't have to wake up early so that you find people are selling breakfast it's just more convenient when you can make the breakfast and then leave the house at whatever time that you want so we were lucky we found cafe open actually we were the last customers in here there was absolutely no one we found them just before they closed it so we were very lucky that we didn't have to go to naivas or is it taskies i think naivas because the the mall where Kafo is at is actually a walking distance from our BNB. It's five minutes, seven minutes walking. Even at night, very safe. We could walk in here, go to KFC. Not KFC, they don't have a KFC. There is a Galitos, a Pizza Inn, a Domino's where we had our dinner for today, for this night. And then we headed to the liquor store right now we are going to the liquor store because we wanted to also buy alcohol because it's just nice to be sorted in the house so that after the first night where we're going to do all the shopping we can have all the days to now not focus on what we are going to eat or what we're going to drink just have fun and not think about the budget but i say the most important thing for you to buy when you're going on such a vacation is drinking water because you don't want to be at the beach and you have to buy water that's not even cold so water was the most important thing that we bought and then here they have a wide variety of alcohols that you wouldn't find in a normal supermarket not even in cafe it's very big it's called the liquor liquor store that's the name of it and yay we bought some rum and wine for the first night we didn't do much because we were tired so we just went back to the house had our food and then we had our drinks and um if you want shisha eric omtere who is our airbnb host actually hires them for i think a thousand bob per night you can confirm with him on instagram so you can enjoy even staying indoors with your drinks with your shisha and then you can order your food
the next morning we decided to walk to the beach and we didn't know where it is we were just told just follow that road down there and you'll find the beach so we walked we didn't take a tuk-tuk and guess what we trespassed on someone's land where we were passing there was a road but it's a fence that's broken down so the gate man was like no you're not supposed to pass there it's trespassing and you were like just allow us to pass because we're looking for the beach when you here and he was okay he actually called the shepherd to guide us the shepherd is right there and yes we accessed the beach through trespassing but it was nice because we got to walk on this rock it was nice got some nice pictures from this area yes it was a beautiful beginning of our adventure for the first morning If you watched my house tour where I went live, you saw this hotel, the Antalya. So the beach is right here. This is Antalya. This is the beach. And you can see this Antalya from our balcony. And there were so many seaweeds on this specific part because this is not where the beach is at. Like people don't usually hang around here. So because it is someone's property it's just next to someone's property and we saw this crab here i know this is not nice that we are disturbing it but anyway i wanted to see the beauty and also show it to you guys and as long as you didn't kill it then i think we are good people right we are not disturbing the flora and fauna it got scared of us and it went back into the water the shepherd really helped us access the beach he was a good guide and yeah the people here are nice don't you just love a beautiful presentation when it comes to food for me presentation is the first thing i always eat with my eyes before i eat with my mouth like if my eyes don't like it chances are my mouth will not like it no matter how yummy it is so here is our breakfast very balanced very healthy and heavy to help us with the beach swimming and everything and walking so that is our breakfast we have the proteins the carbohydrates and the fruits and some wine if you want to get tipsy before you go to the beach and here i'm going to give you a small tour of the place you have seen the full house tour already it's right the video before this is the house tour i went live on that but anyway this is the living room very beautiful i loved the living room i don't know i'll keep saying this but the living room was my favorite part it's beautiful it's modern and the balcony has some coastal vibe to it so i'll just let you enjoy the view
I'm a sucker for huge windows and I'm going to manifest right in this video that I'm going to get a house with a balcony that has sliding doors and huge windows because I absolutely love how beautiful it makes the house look like and it allows maximum lighting into the house it just upgrades the house and as a content creator i think huge windows and the most light you can get is just your best friend so today mark this date i'm manifesting let's see how long god brings my dream to me amen hallelujah Now that you have seen our beautiful house the view that we're getting as we have breakfast this is us here enjoying our breakfast it was very yummy let me just tell you the via zikarai from here and we actually found only one joint that had good via zikarais all the other places i did not like the via zikarais i don't know why but this specific lady she had the best Then we left for the beach. Hello, baby. There we are. Girls just want to have fun. And the last time we went like this together, we were just the two of us. I think it was in 2018. So this was a redo. Like we redid the vacation. And surprisingly, we had similar hair as we did in 2018 when we went together. So it was nice doing this again. And we're looking forward to many, many more girls trips. When going on a vacation, please carry your Bluetooth speaker because the music is just going to make the experience way better. And hiring a Bluetooth speaker is 2,000 shillings. So if you have one, just save that money. You can go buy pizza or buy street food with it and use the one that you always have. So music is very key in your vacation. Carry your Bluetooth speaker. Your phone is not going to be loud enough for the waves and the noise here. But anyway, if you don't want to carry one, maybe you want to have less luggage, you can always hire it at 2K from Eric and you'll still enjoy dancing on the beach. We had lunch at the beach and then for dinner we bought shawarma which we had in the house because we were already full and the shawarma was very nice, very yummy. Mwah. Yeah. 
the next day after strolling on the beach the whole day and enjoying our stay here because i love water i'm a pisces so i can literally just sit in water or just stare at water the whole day that's how much i love water we decided to check out this maasai beach bar it's just next to the beach literally no walking distance you just leave the beach and then you get into this bar and it's nice for a family even if you have kids there is a playground for kids and let me just tell you somehow okay i don't want to talk about regrets but when we came to this place wahala happened my phone broke oh my god Simu yangu ilianguka from the bathroom and the screen broke and oh my god. Let's just focus on the beautiful view that these cocktails give us instead of focusing on the negativity. We decided, you know what, something bad happened but we are going to still enjoy our vacation. So we went ahead and had these beautiful, yummy, juicy cocktails. And this, the blue one is the blue lagoon and I had a Mai Tai. A Mai Tai is supposed to be a very strong drink but I requested them to make it sweeter because I'm a sweet tooth and no regrets. I totally enjoyed my drink and there is nothing that beats having cocktails on a beach oh god that was the best view the best highlight is actually these cocktails because it was just a nice feeling being here As usual I became your online menu so I went ahead and recorded everything that's being offered here and the their drinks menu is so big like three or four pages when the food menu is just what two pages so clearly the people here they're coming mostly to drink not to eat just look at how big this menu is and then compare with this other one We had drinks at the bar till it was late and then we decided to pass by our local to get more shawarma because you can never eat too much shawarma and i just love like my expectation when i was coming here was to get a lot a lot of street food i actually my goal was to make a vlog about street food but unfortunately inyali is a very affluent neighborhood so they don't have so many street foods so shawarma mishkaki those were the only things that we could really eat and for this specific shawarma i didn't really like it it had too many spices that i lost the taste of shawarma anyway the next morning i woke up feeling good i just i decided to have a photo shoot in my 90s because why not i was feeling good i had my tripod set up so i just took a few pictures before we had our breakfast on the balcony because why not enjoy every corner of this bnb while we are here have nice breakfast at the balcony as we have nice conversations and then we'll head to the beach later While on the beach, this guy who draws hina, we had told him the previous day that we will do our hina today and he came to us and we were like, okay, let's just do the hina. So I have always contemplated having a tattoo, but first of all, let's enjoy these beautiful camels majestically cut walking on our view.
now back to our hina i decided to have the anchor tattooed on my arm using a hina because i've always wanted to have an anchor tattoo but i prefer having flawless skin i don't want any stickers on my body so the tattoo the hina tattoo is good because it's going to fade away in three weeks and i'll get what i've always wanted so make sure you try hina art whenever you are at the beach or if you love having drawings on your body but you don't want anything permanent i love my hina and the fact that it's an anchor this is a message i need to see all the time for the next like one month so it's good having a reminder on my body that yes girl you are strong you are beautiful you will go through a lot of storms but you will emerge even more powerful so that's the message i get with this anchor For dinner, we had chicken biryani and let me just tell you, this was not what I expected. I've had better biryani in Nairobi and the fact that I was in court, I was expecting because it's a Swahili food, it would be better. But unfortunately, it was a disappointment. The biryani looks better than it tastes and we thought these were two pieces of chicken. But guess what? One is a potato. So I was wondering what type of chicken is this? that's so soft you can cut it like with a spoon you just cut it dummy and then it has a weird color and guess what it's not with two pieces of chicken it's a potato and i did not like the taste of the potato at all at all so i would not recommend this specific biryani maybe it's from the place that we got it from but the next time we tried biryani from the next hotel to where we bought this from and it was actually nice so i guess Mama Nisi, you need to improve on your biryani skills. Copy from your neighbor. <laughs> another beautiful evening after swimming on the beach we decided to go and check out this club that was just next to the maasai beach so previously we tried the maasai beach bar and restaurant and this one that we accessed here the club that we got to is called moonshine it was nice the vibes were nice there was live music and the ambience outside is the best and actually this moonshine is located inside the reef hotel so initially we didn't know that this is the reef hotel but by the time we were leaving we figured this is the reef hotel but the club is called moonshine so yes i love the ambience you can chill outside here like it's the best personally on the maasai beach this is the best lounge area that i saw because you can sit with your family outside if you don't want the kids to go to the club you see there's some kids running in here so it's very convenient for a family I love live music over any pre-recorded music or mixes i just love live music because you get to experience it more and the band here was very talented both the guy and the girl it's really hard to choose which one was more talented <laughs> And the breeze makes the place very cold because you can see the beach is right here the only thing separating us from the beach was that canvas and the fact that the bar is high up it's like somehow floating 
but anyway i felt like i needed to use the washroom and on my way out i was like hold up i had not seen this part when we were coming in so i definitely had to walk there and this is the accommodation part so if you'll be sleeping at the reef this is where you're going to be sleeping at in front here is the restaurant and then you have seen there is also a club so when you sleep at the reef you actually don't need to go out to have fun and then the beach is just outside the gate so very convenient and i love how well lit it is the garden looks so beautiful at night So this is the restaurant right here the white one so that's where you can have your meals from and we left the reef through the reception or the entrance because we accessed it through the beach gate yes we couldn't have enough of these mishikakis because they were so yummy like these are the best mishikakis i've ever had even better than the ones in outside nairobi clubs this was absolutely the best and also we had more shawarma because why not but anyway we also got to taste the meat iyo choma hapo but then the mishikaki is it i did not like the yaviazika right And guess what guys so we were supposed to come back on that specific day we were supposed to come back but guess what my best friend did not book the train in advance so when she went to book apparently we had missed the train the seats were fully booked and we wanted to go back through sgr so we had to extend our stay for one more night but anyway it's one more night of relaxation so we can't really complain it was nice i enjoyed every moment of it so always make sure that you book your train before don't book the last minute just don't do that unless you're willing to extend your stay i hope i've been very detailed in this video in giving the prices all oh, for the airbnb i forgot to tell you it's eight thousand per night so if you come as two you get to cost share it's four thousand per person and if you're more it becomes cheaper but it's a two bedroom so the links the contacts are on the description and so for the day that we did not get to travel we just chilled in the house in the swimming pool and it was still fun so i did not get to capture the video of the swimming pool because i was too busy but that is how it looks like from the rooftop it's a very beautiful place and you can always contact the number in the description so that you can inquire for more pictures and videos I hope i've been detailed enough and if you have any questions please feel free to ask me in the comment section i'll be happy to reply to you so this is the last day finally we decided to have a meal before we left and we tried a different restaurant and it actually had way better food so for me i really love meat so i wanted initially to just have the choma and kachumbari but then i decided to just add the potatoes in case it wouldn't be feeling enough and this was the last very yummy meal i never regret when i order meat like i can eat meat without any accompaniment and i'll be good to go then this viazika rice very yummy and then sandy had her pilau this is pilau right yeah it was pilau it was also very good way better than the place that sells biryani so i guess you have to look sometimes at how some place looks if it looks more beautiful maybe their food is going to be better because initially i thought this would have the best food but we decided to try the other one but after trying this place it was the best so always go with your gut feeling the first place eat from that place 
so after lunch we headed direct to the terminus because we did not want to miss our train we planned to be there at least an hour before time and we were supposed to use uber but the security guard told us there is better transportation there and we are glad we tried it because guess what we found this van that actually does transfers from wherever you are to the sgr so if you're anywhere within nyali he comes and picks you up at your door and he drops you before the time is there and it's a very nice car actually it's a nissan i think an eight seater ten seater i'm not sure 14 seater i'm not sure but it's very modern very beautiful the seats are very comfortable not like the other the normal matatus we use and it was only 300 shillings guys guess yani 300 shillings from uh the place we were staying at because the joint we were eating from is like five minutes from our bnb from there all the way to the sgr 300 and we would have used maybe 1500 so we got to save all that money so 300 per person that's 600 we got to save 900 shillings so if you're there i will leave the links in the description of the nyali transport person but you can always ask your security guard if they seem they're reliable and yes that was it for nyali we are done with mombasa we are heading to the terminus to go back to nairobi i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did kindly give it a big thumbs up turn on the notification bell and subscribe and today on this trip for the first time i also got to try out the old trains i have never been on these old trains and i thought they were in a bad condition like i just see them on tv i used to see them actually in machachari so i've never climbed these old trains and this was the first time that i got to try them out and they are very beautiful actually so if you're using sgr try one day to use these trains you will be surprised how well maintained they are and it was 50 shillings yes we paid 50 shillings from the terminus to railways in kenya railways in nairobi yes if we used uber like we did when going we would have used 750 shillings or 800 so we got to save again a lot of money on transport by using this old train and it's a nice experience if you've never tried it honestly try it you'll be so proud of the way they've maintained this place and don't lose your receipt because i threw away my receipt once we got out of the train i don't know i put it in my bag and i had to pay again when checking out because you must have your receipt with you so don't throw away your receipt bye bye Mwah.